Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Coffee Rant with Dano and Frank, the Patriot Bald Eagle. You have to hit pause on this video to get your coffee or whatever beverage you deem necessary. Go ahead and do that now as this will be a lengthy discussion. I'm just going to get right into it here, guys. It is time. It is time to start stocking up on some of these items, some preppable food items, some sustainable items, items that are going to last a long time in your pantry. We've been seeing a lot of of these things pop up in the stores lately after torture over the last couple years of massive price increases at the grocery stores finally we have one week here where i think we can kind of con conquer some different items that are for a cheap price kroger has rolled out their 99 cent item deals again now i feel like it's even better than it was last time but let's go even beyond that with meyer now i understand everybody doesn't have meyer but meyer has unleashed the seven for seven or more deal and it's even more than the last time i know the last time they did this i said this these are the best sales i've seen at meyer maybe ever now they've rolled it out again and they have even more which i actually do a video i i was there earlier today did a video at meyer that video will come out tomorrow morning at 8 30 a.m eastern time make sure you subscribe down below thank you all for liking and sharing our videos with your family and friends. Um, it really helps us out a lot. It helped us out uh, 44,000 subscribers, guys. We just crossed 44,000, another milestone. Thank you all so much for that. Um, you know, the journey has been crazy, guys. It really has. I mean, we we have gone from uh, where are where's the food, all the empty shelves a couple years ago, and we've been following all the different food shortages, price increases, different things going on in the store in the stores trying to help save you and us money at the same time and a world i mean guys this is the regular topic of conversation today right every time i talk to anybody that is either at the store or a lot of family and friends know what i do on the channel here and they're always saying where can i get the deals this week where can i do this where can i do that and it's it it shouldn't be in a regular topic of conversation well the one thing some of the people that i've chatted with over the last few days have said have you seen the deals at kroger have you seen the deals at meyer i loved that you showed the deals at big lots right now as to where i didn't really care for many of the different products that big lots had for 99 cents a lot of you did and that is awesome if you happen to miss these videos, I will leave them in the description box below so that you can click on the link after this video if you want to check it out. Uh, there's been some amazing deals, guys. we got to take advantage of this. I cannot stress this enough. Um, the 99 cent items, we got a huge response from a lot of the products that, that a lot of you use that Kroger has right now. So check your Kroger-owned store. Make sure they're doing the same uh, products because Kroger owns a lot of stores. Why we always deal with Kroger. I understand not everybody has Meyer as to where it's mostly like northern states. Okay, but that's seven for seven deal. I mean, if I was like an hour away from Meyer, I would look at one of their ads because I would drive to get a lot of the stuff that they have today on that seven for seven or more. There are some good deals. Actually, I had a couple longtime viewers mention that in the comments. I was I was kind of excited. I was like, because the last time, you know, the 7 for 7 was here, I was like, this is really good. They really did a good job. And then there's a period of like a month where prices just kept going up. And I was like, I was almost done with Meyer. I mean, not that I'm done with Meyer. I love Meyer, But the prices have been getting really ridiculous. I mean, on a lot of different things. And I guess you could say the same about anywhere else. But Meyer really rolled it out here on this one, guys. I mean, there's, there's a lot of items uh, that I buy and a lot that our viewers buy as well. Same as Kroger, uh, again with Big Lots, you know, some of these items, some of these were like cleaner items for 99 cents, some, uh, different, some different canned goods. Got a couple comments. I kind of got some mixed reviews on the different Pama or Pampa, uh, canned fruits. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I, I usually get great value. Now great value did just go up to $1.48 a can. So, you know, I mean, as to where it's still cheaper than Del Monte, almost a dollar cheaper. Some places more than a dollar cheaper. Um, but, you know, these are things that you, while we have the opportunity, it's a good time. These things are cheaper than Dollar Tree. Yes, I did just say that. These items are cheaper than Dollar Tree. Take advantage of these. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, as we go around, you know, if, if you need to add things, to your stockpile something this is a good time guys prices are not coming down they're not coming down they're only going to keep going up so i stress to you if you have a little bit of extra money 
get to the store, start taking advantage of some of these deals before it's too late. Some of these things may start to double. We're hearing all kinds of rumors about chocolate. Now, I know, not it, not a, a necessity, right? But everybody loves their sweets. Chocolate's going to be going up. Coffee is going up. I did see where some coffee just went up at Meyer. Their own Frederick's brand just went up in price. Not to give too much away in the video because I like, you know, you guys to be like in shock like I am. But I was more in shock with the good than the bad this week. And that is what I like. I like to be able to uh, talk about good things. Right, and these are good. These are really good things that we need to pay attention to, um, because before it's too late, before it's too late, I, I, eventually we're not going to see deals like this anymore. The next time around, it may be two dollars is the deal that the deal that we're thankful for. Right? I mean, a lot of this stuff, you know, most of the sales, it's like even the sale prices are more ridiculous, and and, and there's some bad at Meyer in the video. I, I couldn't believe some of the different things, the sale prices. We're like, what? Why even have this on sale? Nobody's going to pay this anyway, right? I mean, that's, that's my thinking, but I don't know. Uh, you'll just have to check it out. Um, but I, we've gotten a huge response on a lot of these different things going on right now. Uh, apparently, uh, Publix has had some really good deals as well. So if you're down south, a lot of the buy one, get one deals at Publix that are apparently really good. We've gotten a lot of, uh, of our viewers from down south, like Florida and Georgia, where they've been shopping in Publix, they say this week there's been some really good uh, BOGO alerts. Make sure you check those out. Always try to, you know, even if it's not from the store that we shop at, let us know. Let us know some of the deals at some of the stores you shop at. Even if it's a Kroger-owned store that's not Kroger, like Harris Teeter or Dillon's or Food for Less or some of these, let us know some of the deals that you're finding to help your neighbor out. Because even if they're doing the same kind of deal that Kroger is this week, it may not be all the same items. So anything that maybe you hear or I maybe I point out on the channel, if you happen to see one of those things on sale that a lot of our viewers are always asking about, let us know down in the comments as you are helping. You are helping. And that's what's awesome about our channel here, guys. We're helping everybody. Everybody. Everybody that leaves a comment uh, on this different subject and stuff, you know, it's like you're, you're helping people. Make sure you abbreviate your city and state if you can. Um, but if not, you know, just your state, you know, because... Every state seems to be dealing with multiple issues. I was reading an article from the Los Angeles Times, and what drew me to it was they're talking about all the different recalls, okay? And I was going to do a video on that. I was like, I'll just talk about it for a minute here during this video because they were talking about uh, all the undeclared allergens lately, okay? And they brought up an interesting point, like New York... For undeclared allergen recalls, they were uh, 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 there was 146 of them, okay, and, and a little bit less in Los Angeles. But they were talking about the diversity and how many people are in New York and L.A. and the different cultures and stuff like that. And they were saying how like this this is expected when you have many many different types of foods coming in and stuff like that. But I thought about that for a second. I'm like 146. And then the total number of, of food allergens over the last year uh, that were recalled were 154 total. So you got to think, 146 of those different products were affected in New York and close to that many uh, in Los Angeles, Los Angeles or uh, California. California was like a close second to New York. But I started reading that and I was like, my goodness, all these different things going on, all these different recalls. And, and they're getting bigger, guys. They're getting bigger. We say we talk about this all the time. Like we talked about the Trader Joe's, the fresh basil. I wonder how much that has really affected like more companies of like fresh basil. Okay. Because now it has affected over 29 states. There's a recall for that in over 29 states. When we talked about it, didn't we say, didn't it start off with eight, eight states? And then I said, it's going to get a lot bigger than that. Sure enough, it has. So, you know, all these different things adding up. All these things, you know, we want to make sure that we have the things that we need or the things that we can afford in a little bit of a stockpile so that when prices do double again, which hopefully that doesn't happen, knock on wood, but let's face it, over the last couple of years, prices have nearly doubled on a lot of things. Over the last year or so, a couple of years, food prices are up like 25% on average. That's a huge average, okay? Huge average. 
I mean, that, that could mean that some products are up 50%, which we know a lot are. Some products are maybe, you know, 10, 20, 30 cent price increases, but an average of 25%, that's absolutely insane. I wonder, and the funny thing is, is that these stores are all doing this at the same time. What does that, what does that tell me? That kind of tells me or hints to me that people are talking. Everybody knows about this. So we have all the different stores that are like, oh, oh, okay, we got to we gotta throw 99 cent deals out here quick. Or, or people are just not going to shop for a week. And, and really, I, I'm not so sure that that's not a bad idea. You know, if people didn't show up at the grocery stores for a week, if, if everybody could just afford to stay home for a week, I don't know, I really think that that would drive prices down like crazy. Kind of like when people stopped driving because of gas. You notice in 2008 when everybody just quit driving, people were, you couldn't find a bicycle at Walmart. What happened? Oh yeah, gas prices went back down to $2. And they stayed there for a long time. You know why? Because they were scared. They were scared that people weren't going to drive. Or, or that it was too soon. That it was too soon to raise prices. You can say it was because of something... Uh, some other things, different different prices, different trades, different stuff like that. But what it all comes down to is money. What it all comes down to is money. And if they know that they can make that money and get by until here we are in 2024, and it is three about 370 a gallon right now. Uh, somebody was saying in California it was 515 a gallon. 515 a gallon. And, and and you know, I mean, they've had prices as high as like seven fifty eight dollars a gallon. Uh, you know, a few years ago. I know that that's when it crashed. That's what it was in California. My uncle lived in Anaheim, so I had some insider information. Anyway, take advantage of these deals, guys. Take advantage of them. Get to the store. Uh, so you'll be seeing this video tonight, April 29th, 2024, is in the recording of this. Uh, Kroger... A, a lot of their, they have good digital coupons as well. Okay, now I don't know which ones are going to carry over past Tuesday because their sales week ends on Tuesday. So you will have tomorrow, at least tomorrow, to check out some of these different deals. Now that 99 cent deal may go over another week. I'm not too sure yet. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you know uh, if that 99 cent deal is going over for another week. Um, if it is, awesome. I took full advantage of this last week. Uh, bought up a lot of different canned goods and stuff like Lots of stuff is on this deal. And Meyer. Meyer today, I'm actually going to be going back with Jess here in a few days. We're going to load up on stuff. Meyer is fully loaded on a lot of these things. And they had some good sales as well. Good sales on uh, different frozen items, stuff like that. I'm not going to not going to give away the whole video here. Uh, but check it out. I mean, some really good deals. And we may see some things like this leading up until Memorial Day, right? And this is why we always say stock up on the sales when you see them. Sure, these other things may not be on sale right now. They may never be on sale. But let's take advantage of the ones that are. Start, start, you know, add these to your food preps, different things. I And, and let's talk about this for just a minute. Start adding some of your spices. Some, some different spices that you're, uh, you know, wanting to stock up on or just wanting, these kind of things, I, I don't know if I would try and get a deal, but we've been hearing of like a different, you know, a lot of spices not coming in. Now we've seen this ourselves at like Walmart. Um, we saw at uh, Big Lot, Big Lots is usually full of spices. And they were, there were, it was pretty empty. Anybody saw that video? I mean, it, it's pretty empty. And it was empty the last time I went there too. Now Kroger has been kind of full, right? But Dollar Tree, has not. Dollar Tree, that used to traditionally always be full. Now they have that huge recall on the cinnamon, the ground cinnamon there. But uh, yeah, guys, you know, take advantage of some of these items. Uh, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll leave the, if you happen to miss them, I'll leave the videos in the description box below. Click on it after this if you would like to watch them. Uh, but check it out, you know, again, if you have any of these different owned stores by Kroger, make sure that they have some of the, you know, because look online. Look online before you go. They'll, they'll have an entire list of everything on sale. And that way you can do all your digital coupons as well. I don't know if some of the Kroger-owned stores had the same digital coupons that we did last week, but there were some really good ones. Some really good ones. Thank you all so much for, for being part of the adventure. Um, 44,000 subscribers. Help us reach 50 by liking and sharing our videos. We do appreciate it, guys. Um, it's amazing. 
it's amazing. I was at Meyer today when I noticed. I was sitting there, I'm messing with the camera and everything. I'm looking around, I'm like, holy smokes, 44,000, woohoo! I was, I was so excited, I called Jess. I was like, we just hit 44,000. Um, it's, you know, it's amazing. It's amazing. I, I remember when we first started on YouTube here, I was like, you know what, if we hit a couple thousand subscribers, I'll be excited, I'll be happy. And here we are a couple years later at 44,000. Absolutely amazing. Uh, you guys are amazing. You guys, uh, you know, we talk about these things on the channel. Feel free to discuss anything with each other. You know, it's an open social uh, extravaganza in the comments, guys. You know, always check everybody's comments. Everybody's always talking about different things. Uh, a lot of our viewers, you know, talk about different sales stuff, maybe shopping hauls that you've gotten. I love reading these comments. There's a lot of different food recalls building. We may discuss this tomorrow. Um, there's been there's been so many, guys. It's just, it's like every day there's another food recall, whether it's an undeclared allergen, uh, different, you know, something that's not written on the, the packaging, right? Something so simple that could really harm someone if you're allergic to something, right? We got the different salmonella, listeria, different outbreaks. They did go into those numbers too uh, in that Los Angeles Times uh, interview or that, <coughs> excuse me, article. But, you know, if you want to check that out, uh, it's the different, um, they talk about the different food recalls. You could probably just Google food recall Los Angeles Times. That article will pop right up. I recommend reading it. It's interesting. Uh, it's unbelievable how many cases of salmonella and listeria that we have had. And we're dealing with the E. coli uh, scare with a lot of the different beef, a lot of different hamburger right now, which we went over a few days ago. Um, you know, we just got to, we always say, keep your head on a swivel, keep moving forward, make sure you are stocking up, stock up on these items while you have the opportunity. I told myself I'm going to try not to say stock up more than 10, 15 times in this video, but I'm trying to just tell you, it is time to get to the store and buy up some of these items. And I know I'm talking to at least a couple hundred of our viewers on the channel here because a lot of these items that I've been pointing out over the last few days, you guys buy on a regular basis. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.